save. Next week, Duluth students will head back to in-person learning to start the school year. The Duluth School Board ruled masks must be worn by students and staff. This is especially important at schools like Homecroft Elementary, where the students are not eligible to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Homecroft Principal Tom Cockut says the district is working closely with St. Louis County and the Minnesota Department of Health to follow health protocols. He says if a student has COVID symptoms, they will be sent home to quarantine. If students are wearing masks at school and if there's a positive case in the class, if they are masked, the other students in the class are not going to need to quarantine, which is a significant change from last year. Because in the past, we would require an entire class or group of kids to quarantine, when this year it's essentially going to be the family group or the student that uh, has symptoms or tested positive. Cockut says they're spacing desks and keeping students in pods at lunch and recess to reduce transmission. First grade teacher Lisa Lochner says she's excited to be back in class. She recognizes it could be tough to get kids back on track after last year, but they're ready for the challenge. We're adopting a new social emotional learning curriculum this year, which I'm really excited about. Um, I think that'll help us talk about feelings and, you know, how we're feeling about school, how we're feeling about being back, uh, making new friends, seeing faces we haven't seen before. Lochner says as we head back to school, communication is key. If parents have any questions or concerns, the teachers are available and willing to find an answer.